This demo is about calling a special uh, API endpoint called execute site script action. And uh, I'm going to call it from Microsoft Flow, which is now called Out Power Automate, because I think you could do everything in Microsoft Flow. What we can do, there is a, a link, actually. So yeah, let me just, I'll just run through it. So the site script action let us access what's in the share, modern SharePoint site script, which is part of the uh, SharePoint site design. You can use it to create a custom list. This is with custom columns. You can use it to create content types. You can add the content type to your custom list. You can apply branding, change logo. You can actually also activate features. So if you know the feature, uh, GUID, and you can activate that on the site, you can use it to trigger a flow. But I would put a question mark here because we are already in the flow executing a site script. Why do we want to execute another flow? That seems like, eh? that's like, okay, maybe maybe not that one. But, uh, uh, but also you can use it to configure regional settings for your site and use it to add uh, user principles to SharePoint groups. So a bunch of super powerful. Um, and these are things that you know we could use the REST API to do. It's just to do it in the REST API, you have to make multiple calls. You have to call a list and then call another endpoint to check if the column's there, then create that column and then do another. Like it, it just goes on and on. Let me show you that link. So that is the link that's here, the uh, site script, uh, site design JSON script schema which has all the actions the top one is creating a sharepoint list uh, you can use any of the enums that you memorized so there is the top level uh, site action create sp list you can give a list name uh, and then you can create all these sub actions where you can add little verbs like uh, set the description change the title and add add sp field that's a sub action so there's a whole bunch of them uh, and then you can apply theme and so on now, you might say, hey, wait, this is not new, is it? Well, the uh, site script action here and, and with a set of sub actions, these are part of the site script and which is part of the site design. And traditionally, to apply it to a site, you need to write the site script, add the site script to SharePoint, then add the site script to site design, and then apply the whole site design to a site. So there's like several steps. What execute site script action does, this action, is it lets us shortcut this whole thing and just run this. So you could basically create a site script, call this endpoint, give it this JSON, which we all learn is just text with squiggly brackets, um, and it will execute the site script actions without you having to create a whole a uh, site script and then register in the site design and then apply it once and then throw the whole thing away. Seems very wasteful. So if you want to just create some sort of custom list, you could build a JSON running and then just call the endpoint, get your list back and then uh, keep going. So I want to show uh, a few places where the site script is available. The uh, PMPJS and I think, I think Patrick was in the call. Uh, PMPJS has uh, an a, a endpoint for execute site script action. Um, so you can use it in here. In fact, that is the site script. So if you're coming from JavaScript, if you're using uh, SharePoint framework, so SPFX, and you want to just call some site script, uh, you could do this totally, uh, completely allowed inside. Well, you can't do it. Yeah, it's inside the, the, the library. So PMPJ is supported. Uh, let me pop over to my demo real quick. So, do, do, do. so here's my uh, flow. And uh, this is a flow with a bunch of, uh, uh, I, I made it really big. So it's a button flow. I'm just going to run it to trigger it manually. Uh, firstly, I need a SharePoint site, uh, site collection URL. So let me just call it PMP1. And just to show you, it's not magic. Uh, this site doesn't exist. It's a 404 found, not found. Um, then uh, before I call the site script, I'm actually going to call this SP site manager. So this is yet another endpoint. 
But this basically allows me to uh, use that URL, uh, use a web template, give it the owner, I'm the owner, and this is going to help me create a site collection. And you could call this from any site. So this is this action is the send HTTP to SharePoint action, which is a standard flow action. Uh, in fact, this entire flow is standard license. You do not need premium license to call any of this. So that's that one. That's the first one. Um, this is all in my blog. So I, if you're curious about these little bits. So that's that first bit. The second bit, uh, there is a few more actions. Firstly, we use a compose action to build, again, a JSON, which is text with squiggly things. Uh, we're using the uh, SP, create SP list verb. We're going to call a custom tracking with the underscore because we don't want spaces in our names. But right afterwards, we want to call the set title and change it so it doesn't have a space. Uh, we're going to do description, add field, and another field. A complex field like a choice column, which requires some XML, we could do that. Uh, and also, you could decide if you want the field to be undo. Uh, if you want to add the field to the default field and whether you want it to be required. So this whole thing is the site script action. And you can actually have multiple. I just have one action here. And then, oops, next thing. Click too quick. Um, the, to call this endpoint, we need the whole site script encoded as a string. So in JavaScript, it means to take the JSON and stringify it, right? So you turn the, the JSON of this uh, script definition into just an just a encoded string. Uh, in Flow, we use a function called string, string brackets with the JSON that will turn that to a stringified string. And then uh, we put that inside a new JSON, with which is has this action definition. Then we're going to call uh, execute site script action again. Now this time on the new site that I just created. So this is using a custom site, custom value, which is the uh, the URL from earlier. Um, it's a post uh, calls execute site script action. This is the not so secret endpoint. It's um, anyway, it's out there. Um, and then just pass it, pass this thing. Okay, so let me run this whole thing. So the flow is running. And you see uh, the flow actually runs quicker than me waiting on that dialog to come up. So it took us uh, three seconds to create the site. It then took about a second to apply the custom list. Uh, so if I come over here and just F5, uh, you see that site is created. Uh, if I pop into the site content, you will see the content type. So the custom list is here with the underscore in the title, the custom columns, a uh, whole bunch of little, you know, all the fun stuff that you expect. So, um, Super powerful, I think, in my mind. Uh, lots of lots of scenarios to think about. Let me, and also actually, let me let me show you one more bit. So there is one more action I didn't show. Um, there is another endpoint on the same area. It's under the site script utility. There is a get site script from web. Uh, you can call that and give it the web URL. You need to specify if you want a list definition. But what that will give us back is the script. So SharePoint is able to look at a custom current site and give us back the site script for it. Um, and then we can turn that stringified uh, JSON back into the site script. So you'll see this is the script that, uh, that SharePoint is able to create. So it's kind of two ways. You can use it to read an existing site and then uh, pull out its site definition and then use it to clone it to a new site, or um, or you could you know predefine your script and then just use that in flow to create. So you can see this is the site script that's pulled out. Um, it didn't do the underscore properly, so that's if you run that, it's gonna create a list without the with the space in it, and you're gonna you're gonna hate that list anyway. Um, 
So yeah, lots of ideas. So you can maybe build a SharePoint list template libraries using a bunch of JSON files. So if your users say, hey, I need this type of list, you can click. We were talking about uh, the fabulous 40 in the chat comments. Yeah, you could totally have uh, 40 list templates. Uh, the, the, these list templates, this JSON list can include a few. So you can customize your few and get make it really fancy. So all the modern SharePoint list view customization can be embedded in your site design. So really powerful. You could create these lists that have very custom views. Um, it should work really well with the upcoming Microsoft list, which is all you know SharePoint list space. So I could imagine the out of the box, uh, you know, about ten templates that you can pick. Uh, they are pretty much essentially in my head. They are pretty much essentially site design scripts that I run. Uh, you can use it if you have a Power App that has that needs certain type of SharePoint list as a backing. You can use this uh, to to deploy it with a flow that checks if the list doesn't exist, then create it, and then uh, have your Power Apps run. Um, the other concern, this is me. My background is a consultant, and often I go to a new customer and they don't have access to Azure and they want some sort of site provisioning uh, with. Flow and no Azure required, no premium license required. You could be super productive with just these pieces. Uh, you could build a SharePoint framework web part and call that from JavaScript, or you can use Flow as well. So you can right now use it from PMPJS and Flow. Maybe, maybe you could call it from PowerShell or CLI. Maybe I think other others are in the call. They will be interested. But always good to see new endpoints, and then they encapsulate a lot of functionality. And the whole list is created on the server, so you don't need to worry about this back and forth of calling multiple API endpoints. You just call one endpoint, and then it creates the whole list. So that's super powerful. Uh, that's all my talk is about. This. Awesome. Cool. Really cool stuff. Thank you, John. Always appreciate a mention of PMPJS in any demo, so great to see that. Mm -hmm.